Hey everyone, Tobias here, and welcome to another Nikkei video. So this is going to be a special one, which I show you guys some of the tricks and tips we can use with Crown. And honestly, it's an amalgamation of our JP Bros cooking, our Nikkei.gg teams, and also what we tested on stream. And there's so many little intricate things you can do with Crown that uh, it's going to give a slight advantage uh, after you watch this video to a free-to-play players that have just one base copy. Okay, and I'll show you guys why. It's absolutely hilarious after we've tested this and found out that uh you know what free to play one copy crown is uh, even better than what we thought before but i just want to point out that uh, our jp bros with their newest team composition litter crown modernia red hood and naga and they have said that this is the best hard mode campaign team and it's hilarious that the global nikki.gg also has this as the litter variant as the one of the best campaign teams we have right now and uh, incidentally i myself yours truly have also tested the exact team comp and uh, it was the best campaign team like i've said in the previous video that was released so yes when you have all three sources confirming that this is indeed the best you know how good crown is but uh, i know you guys are here for the uh, free to play tricks and uh, some of the cool mechanics that we can use with crown especially using the vigor cube okay so some of you guys may not recognize this what cube is this basically this is the max HP Vigor Cube and the reason why we're using this we have to go back into the in-game client and take a look at Crown's second skill now Royal Attire has a uh, second part of the ability uh, other than the taunt and the stacking ability but every time Crown gets healed she will give a 21% attack damage buff to the entire team for 7 seconds and uh, when just using Crown you're going to proc this if you use the royal attire um, based off of your attack. You're going to proc this around every 14 and 15 seconds. So that means it's about a 50% uptime just by crown herself. Okay, because it's 14 to 15 to, um, seconds to activate and then this lasts for 7 seconds. So it's not bad. It's not bad. However, in the best team that we have right now from campaign, you can see that we use someone like Naga. And Naga instantly has a skill. And we'll just bring Naga's... Uh, skill up here has a skill that uh, recovers activates after five attacks recovers two allies with the lowest hp percentage uh 8.25 of the caster so naga's final max hp as hp so this is the heal that's coming up from naga and because it's five normal attacks you're gonna get this at least every seven seconds which means a hundred percent uptime that's right a hundred percent uptime on crowns 21 max level 21 percent attack damage buff and why do i say this is a free to play bonus Bonus. well let me tell you why all right if you look at the team composition and you can see already what cube they're running this is the vigor max hp cube and the reason why they're running that is because currently naga is bugged that's right naga is bugged in the sense that even though her text if we go inside the game even though naga's text says that after landing five or not after five normal attacks it'll be affecting two allies with the lowest lowest hp percentage it's not working as intended it's actually affecting two allies with the lowest two absolute values currently so with that said, Crown herself is a defender type unit, which means she has a massive, massive amount of HP. You can see here, okay, the value is massive compared to someone else that is even higher cores than her. And not to mention, in max limit break, you have a bond 40. But uh, how do we get around that now? You can see in the team composition that we have already switched to HP cubes on Litter on Red Hood and on Naga, so that Crown and Moldernia are the lowest, and the uh, Crown would get the heal and then proc that 21% damage buff. But if you are a free-to-play player, there are a couple of things you can do. You probably don't have all the gears or rocks available to upgrade or overload your gears. Keep your chest piece not overloaded or not leveled even because this is a huge source of HP, and if you don't upgrade that, then your HP value will be lower. And Originally, as a free-to-play player without maximum break or without uh, rank up on your bond, uh, you are going to have lower stats because it's not limit broken and you don't have bond 40, which adds a massive, massive, massive amount of uh, HP, right? It's quite good in terms of the bond HP it provides. So if you're free-to-play, 
this is exactly your advantage. Your Naga will most likely heal your zero or one copy of a crown because the HP might be the lowest if you haven't upgraded your gears. Then a crown would have 100% uptime on this attack damage. So this 21% is free. It's completely free. And just again, <laughs> echoing that uh, it's so funny that we're coping for basically the whales and the spenders that have maxed it, uh, coping the HP cube for this team. Now, there are other teams that you can use um, against bosses, for example, Scarlet Black and Alice and all that stuff. They're going to run resilience instead of HP. So all in all, it's not going to make a huge, huge change. But just know that if you're a free-to-play player with one copy of Crown and all of your other units are quite invested, you can keep the chest piece not upgraded or low. And if your Crown is the second even if it's the second lowest hp unit you're going to benefit from a 100 percent uptime damage buff that uh, maybe the whales like myself are not going to get so it's very very interesting that you have that option now for the campaign team we talked about this is nikki.gg site i'll leave a link down below it's the exact same team this team is so broken it is so broken everyone absolutely loves it now there is one more trick you can do um, which is that uh, they've kindly provided a video here that crown look you can shoot in the air and it will count as gaining the stack this is so good because if we see the skill the second skill activates after 43 normal attacks and she gains the stacking hp potency and when it's fully stacked you get the taunt you get the uh, recovery and you can abuse this by uh, basically even though as a machine gun user by basically firing into the air and you will get uh, the stacks ongoing even if there's no enemies to fight this of course make sure that you don't lose the uh, ramp up if you're reloading and also the fact that uh, you can kind of stop before a boss ults or something and then time it with a five second taunt plus invulnerability is really really good because it's not 43 attacks landed on the enemy it's 43 normal attacks period so uh yeah those are two things you can do controlling the hp to make sure she gets naga buff if you're using the best campaign team or shooting into the air so you can get this hp potency stack even if you're not shooting at the enemy so two very very cool tricks that i can do and uh, last but not least i just want to say that uh, crown is absolutely a beast because um she is I would say future proof as well. I know some of you guys missed it in the previous video, but I will show you guys again the zero reload timer, okay? And we can do this in a very, very cool team composition. We showed it on the Mila, which I will showcase here one more time because it's just really funny when we do it on the Mila. And uh, actually, I'll do it on Moldernia. This is gonna be so cool. I'll do it on Moldernia here. And then for the other team, I'm going to put Privity because in this team composition, we're actually going to see Alice with pretty much no reload time as well. I'll make sure that uh, she's got res Resilience Cube. So let's swap that. Uh, and this is what I mean by um, for her team compositions, you pretty much want Resilience Cube on all the damage dealers. And I'll make sure that Moldonia has one too as well. And she does not. So let's equip that and we'll take it off of Ludmilla. So this is extremely extremely funny and broken okay and part of the reason why she is going to be so good moving forward is that not only does she negate the ramp up mechanic of uh the machine gun users because once you lose focus on the enemy you are going to lose that ramp up speed right whether it be you're reloading or um whether you be uh, losing target but crown has this built-in buff where um, you can target untargetable enemies so uh, you will not lose basically the um the buff that is coming up now look at modernia's ammo okay i'm gonna press spacebar to reload and you're gonna see it go to max look it's max every time i press spacebar it's max and you don't lose any any ramp up speed which means modernia will always fire and she will always be able to fire at a speed where there is look max hp uh max ammo gain at max machine gun speed she will always be firing max machine gun speed even if she has to reload so there is no ramp up involved at all now you can see the exact same thing will be done with the <laughs> alice and it looks so broken it looks really broken on alice okay so watch alice here and uh with privity Alice is going to burst, okay, and just look at the ammo count. Look at the ammo count right here. It's down to 11, but once Alice is into 
this auto fire mode. She is gonna be at max ammo, which means for the duration of the Alice attack, she is never, ever going to reload. That's it. There is no reloading involved. So for those of you without max ammo lines on some of these units, that's okay. Throw in a resilience cube, throw in Alice, one of the best units, and look at her go during the burst because um, yeah, that's right, there's no reload time. And we just basically <laughs> have this insane, look, look, look at this, no reload, insane power creep moving forward, I think, that uh, any machine gun users or any units that would really like some ammo uh, during the full burst basically will always be paired up with crown for infinite ammo and uh, honestly i think this is the true true selling point for ammo i uh, saw her for crown moving forward uh, because she fixes all the machine gun you know look a max max ammo i don't lose any ramp up for machine guns and of course crown being machine gun unit herself absolutely perfect and uh, i'm just going to show you guys i'm going to shoot in the air and i'm stacking I'm stacking the crown passive. So even if crown is doing nothing, you manually control crown and just shoot at the air. You'll get the stack up for your very shiny invulnerability and taunt. Anyhow, those are some tips and tricks and teams for the best, best campaign team and possibly the best the bossing single team uh, moving forward. Of course, I think she will still be by herself um, and we might not split Tianaga. I mean, we could, but I think uh, it's better if we keep Tien and Naga together so that Crown can shine on the 13 for either Union Raid or um, Solo Raid. And, uh, of course, if there's ever a unit that gets released that is um, Burst 1, CDR, cooldown reduction with heal, then we instantly push Crown into the top, top, top tier. And I'll optimize here, and uh, let me know thoughts, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye now.